Hi everyone, uh, just a, an update on the layout for you, I know it's been a, a little while um, and as you can see I've started some scenery work um, I was getting a bit fed up with the electric stuff so uh, I changed over to uh, to do some scenery um, so what I've done here is I've removed the, the cork that was kind of in the middle there so I've got a triangle out there and around the back that's going to be kind of a wasteland field type uh, affair down there. Um, I've painted in between the lines down here in black because that's going to represent uh, cinders and, and ash and coal that kind of stuff. So <clears throat> I've got the the walling in kind of place where it's going to going to live that side of the GCR station which uh, of course is now missing uh, because I've got uh, some ballast laid um, so that's drying off at the moment and there's rather a lot of ballast there um, I've yet to kind of level that off um, what I did was I put uh, some some glue down first then I laid the ballast on top of the glue um, when the glue's dried I'm going to try and scrape off the excess and then uh, I shall be using the standard method for laying ballast in between the lines of the, uh, the dropper and the uh, PVA and, and uh, washing up liquid so that should give then the GCR yard the uh, the desired effect so it's kind of uh, just a grubby mess that's what I really wanted in there so I've done a bit more painting so that's where the platform ends there so that's just been cut out again in a little triangle and then again that's cut out around there uh, so I've put the undercoat in basically, this is just the earth coats um, first of all for the painted areas, let's move back around a bit so this is what I've been using, some uh, tester pots so we've got like a chocolate matte chocolate colour and a black paint there from uh, from a, the supermarket or the store uh, and they're just mixed together, painted on quite roughly uh, but mixed together So. The next lay, uh, stage there is to start putting um, like a PVA down again and put grass across the top of that, just various tones of grass uh, across there. Um, I've got the ordinary ballast here for the uh, for the lines around here, so I shall be ballasting through just to about there-ish uh, in the tunnel and then around here. Uh, as well, and I'm going to run the the ballast along here on those two lines. Um, I've got some more walling that I've pretty much finished. It's just over here, so it's in sections still. Um, so some of it is going to go at the back of here when the ballast is dry down there, and then the rest is going to carry on down along the front there. Um, so that's pretty much what I've been doing. Um, more electric work of course, but uh, that's pretty much what I've been doing um, for the past week or so. Um, after seeing Dave and uh, his electrical stuff, I went and grabbed uh, a few of these. I thought they were absolutely excellent. So I've got some of those which are going to go under the under the board uh, to uh, to provide lighting for, uh, sorry, it's, um, power for lighting, that kind of stuff. So that should save me a heck of a lot of trouble. But I'm quite pleased with how that's come out so far. It looks a bit of a mess at the moment, but uh, believe me, that's uh, that's looking a lot better in real life, especially the the painted bit. Um, I'm glad I cut away the the cork. Uh, it's a shame I actually laid it all across the board in the first place, but there we go. You live and learn. Um, yeah. So the next step round here is. Um, the kind of grey ballasts, so this is just the ordinary uh, uh, fine ballast from Woodland Scenics, the grey blend. Uh, so I shall be using that on the, the main lines and just cinders down here, um, as I say, just to look quite rough uh, and unkept. Uh, so that will be awesome when that gets some static grass and uh, some detailing in there and the building's put back. 
Um, but that's it for now. Um, so I know not a lot has been, looks like it's been done, but uh, uh, that took quite a while to, to cut the the uh, cork out and uh, back to baseboard. I think it looks better um, and it gives a, a better sort of shape to the, the ballast when it when it be chamfered down the edge, you know. So that's that's pretty much it for me. Um, if you're wondering where all the stuff is that was around here, it's this side of the layout. Um, that's kind of a tip over there at the moment, but uh, you know, there we are. <laughs> um, I've got uh, the incline uh, risers ordered now, so they should be here sometime in the week. Um, I've bought the wood for the top level. Uh, I've bought various woodland scenic scatters and uh, and scenery stuff so that'll be hopefully arriving soon so we can get it all in and uh, and start detailing this up a bit more making it look like a layout um, rather than just a a board with some track thrown on it uh, what else have I been doing? oh yes I've been fitting point motors so these are the surface mount ones um, I don't really care about the the size of them in here because they're um, they're um, not on show at all. Uh, I've got the um, infrared detectors in just here and here. I think I showed you those before. Um, so electric stuff is still going on. Um, I just got quite bored of it soldering um, pretty much all the time. So so I switched into scenery. Uh, I'll get back to soldering again at some, at some point, probably when the ballast is uh, down and, and drying off. Um, but that's that's kind of it for now. So I shall uh, catch you later. Bye.